Good afternoon children. Welcome back to the online class. Hope you are all fine. Today a new thing is going to happen. Because we were in the bridge course for this all days you were learning only grammar topics. Is it? Today we are entering into the chapter wise we are going to learn. Okay. Unit 1 we are going to start today. Do you know how many units you have? There are 7 units. Okay. Each unit consists of a prose, poem and a supplementary reader. Okay. In the first unit we are going, we are in every unit we have prose, poem and supplementary. In such a way in the first unit also we have a prose, poem and a supplementary. There I am going to start with the supplementary reader. For first day, isn't it children? So it should be interesting. So we can start with the story. Okay. So today we are going to start with the topic The Tempest. It's a supplementary reader. The topic is The Tempest written by William Shakespeare. Shakespeare, famous writer, is it? So we can see something about that Shakespeare and just we will be entering into our story. Okay children? Yes. So William Shakespeare was born in the year 1564 and died in the year 1616. Born in the year 1564 and died in the year 1616. Okay. Many historians and critics believed that this play the Tempest was one of his last play. Many plays he had written about 37 plays he has written. Among that, this is considered as his last play. Okay, children. So, it is one of his fine play too. Okay. So, there he had written. Uh, it is said that it was written in the year 1610 and 1611. In between this gap. 1610 or 1611. In between gap. He had written this play. And it was actually based on a shipwreck. Okay. So, Sea Venture of Bermuda. That shipwreck. Actually, the content he had taken from that. And that ship uh, headed to Virginia. That theme he had taken and that only he had used in his play like that. Many of the critics are believing. Okay children. So we can now enter into our topic. The Tempest. Do you know what's the meaning of this Tempest? Tempest. Yes. It's a cyclone or a storm. Okay. Yes. Before yes. Entering into our story. You should know some background of the story. Okay, it's a big play, but as an extract, it is given to you. A part, a piece only, a, a piece of that, a part of that only given to you. So, you should know the background of the story before reading this text. Then only you can understand it. Okay, children? Yes, okay. I will introduce all the characters to you. What are the characters will come in the story? I will be introducing it to you so that you can understand more. Okay, before reading you should know something about the characters. So we can see the characters children. So the main character of the play is the Prospero. Prospero is the main character in the story. He is an old man. When the story begins we can uh, understand that he is an old man. He is mentioned in such a way. Old man and Miranda, daughter of Prospero. Understand the relationship? Prospero and Miranda. So, father and daughter. Okay. So, she is a young lady. When the play begins, we can understand that he is an old man and she is a young lady. Okay. Understand the character? Then Antonio, third character. Antonio. This is Antonio is the brother of Prospero. Okay, so Prospero, old man, Miranda, his daughter, and Antonio, his brother. Okay, children, then Gonzalo. Okay, so this Prospero is the Duke of Milan. Okay, so he's a Duke. What is the meaning of this Duke? A person having high social ranking, or else we can call him as a king too. Okay, Duke. You can keep in mind as a king. So, Prospero is a king 
and his brother Antonio and Gonzalo is a kind lord or you can call him as a minister of his court. Okay, so he's a kind lord. Okay, he's a good man. This Gonzalo. Okay, understand the characters? Prospero, he is an old man. And Miranda, his daughter. And Antonio, Prospero's brother. And Gonzalo, he is a kind lord. And then, next family. This is, they all belong to one area, okay? Then Alonso. Alonso is another duke, another king. And he is the enemy of Prospero. Okay, so he is the duke, he is another duke and he is the duke of Naples. Okay, Prospero is the duke of Milan. Okay, two country. One country is Milan and another country is Naples. Okay, Prospero is the duke of Milan. And then Alonso is the duke of Naples. And Alonso had a son named Ferdinand. Okay, then this two, Alonso, Ferdinand. Then Psychorax. Psychorax is a witch. Which means you know. Is it? So the, who is doing magic or those things we call it as Psychorax. That is a witch. Her name is Psychorax and she had a son named Taliban. Okay. So here this Taliban was uh, described as an ugly monster. Ugly monster. Okay. So these are the main characters you will, while reading, you will come across. Okay. So, when I am reading the chapter, you should keep in mind all these characters. Then only you can understand the story. Okay, children. So, first main character, Prospero, his daughter, Miranda, and Antonio is his brother. And he had a kind lord minister named Gonzalo. And his enemy country, that is the Duke of Naples. His name is Alonso. And he had a son named Ferdinand. And so another one family is here. Psychorax and Caliban. Psychorax is a witch. And she had a son named Caliban. And he was described as an ugly monster. And one main character, one more character will come across that is this Ariel. Ariel is a good spirit. Good spirit. Okay. And it is a chief of all good spirit. Okay, this much keep in mind. Okay, children. So, let me, before reading the chapter, I will be telling you the background of the story. Okay, so character wise you know now, is it? This Prospero, this old man, so this story uh, is when it begins, uh, now they were old man and Miranda is a young lady. Before that, the background, many story is there, I'll be telling you that. Then we will start the story, okay? So this Prospero is the Duke of Milan and this man had a special character. He was interested in doing magics. Magic, that word itself, all are interested in hearing it, is it? But this man was interested in doing magic. So, always he will be reading such type of books and he will learn all the spells. Okay, spells means what? Magical tricks that, uh, what are the mantras and magics, everything he will be learning. Okay, so he will be always learning that and he will spend most of his time only in learning magic. So, think of that a king spending his time only for uh, doing magic and if he is not taking care of his subjects, that is the people, what will happen in the country? Many problems are raised here and there. So, what he had to, he had to go for another solution. Two solutions he can have. One side, he had to leave his magic and do good to his people or else he should concentrate on the magic and the taking care of the people. The subject should be, that question should be given to someone else. Okay. So, he go for the second choice. Okay. Because he was very much interested in magic. So, he gave the power to his brother Antonio. 
okay you take care of the people i will be uh, i am very much interested in doing magic so i will be taking care of that you take care of my people okay like that the power was given now to antonio this antonio is an ambitious man he need that power he want that kingdom as yes, he had, he had to rule the country so that thought when it enter into the mind he understood that all people love prospero if this prospero was in his country he can't become a king so he was thinking of a plan how i can uh the throw away or kill this prospero that was the thought of antonio this cunning antonio want to kill prospero or take his kingdom or take uh, he want the power okay for that he was ready to do anything so he build a friendship with this alonso alonso was the enemy he was the duke of naples and he was waiting for a chance to fight against prospero okay he was waiting for a chance okay now this antonio and this alonso make a french okay so now this antonio and alonso become friend they both together plan and now they were sketching out a new plan to kill prospero in the country itself they can't kill prospero if something happen to him people will kill antonio so what was their plan they had to do something different so they thought of a plan and come out with a new plan what was that plan they made this man prospero and his daughter to travel in a boat and they forced him to uh, that um, go alone they left them alone in the sea okay that was their plan if they were left alone in the sea without food and water they will die so that was their plan okay but this plan was known to gonzalo already i told you the character of gonzalo gonzalo was a kind man so he can't oppose this uh, antonio and alonso if he told this if he tell that uh, matter to prospero maybe prospero believe him or he may not believe him he don't know whether he will believe him so he don't have the hope or he, he did not take a chance to informing everything openly to prospero so he thought of a plan what can i do next so he filled that boat with food water apparels and also his magic books everything he filled in the boat without the knowledge of anyone so he thought gonzalo if he was left alone in the boat also no problem for some days he will be surviving with this water food and if he had his magic book with him he can do something so that was the plan of gonzalo so he was uh, forced to you know into the sea and anyway prospero and miranda was left alone in the sea okay so they thought now alonso and antonio they thought that he died and they were happy in the country and antonio started to rule the country okay this was the background so keep in mind all these things and now when you read your lesson from there the story starts okay so background keep in mind then only when i read the story you will understand that okay children so first one there was an island in the sea do you know what is this island yes four side covered by water okay at middle portion we have land mass is that is an island is it silver so there was an island in the sea the only inhabitants of which were an old man named prospero and his daughter miranda a very beautiful young lady got it children now so now where uh, the prospero and miranda Prospero and Miranda they reached an island 
if you know the background you can understand how they reached okay so with the help of that gonsana only as he kept the food and water there anyway for some days they survived and anyway they reached an island so from your textbook the story starts from there okay so there was an island in the sea and in that island two characters they are mentioning one is this prospero he is an old man now and and his daughter miranda beautiful young lady okay then she came to the island so young that she had no memory of having seen any other human face other than his father's okay do you understand children so now when she was not even 3 years old that incident happened now after 12 years only the the story starts okay so now she may be 15 to 16 that age young beautiful young lady okay so after 12 years when she was too young she reached this island it was mentioned there so she don't remember any human face other than her fathers this line is very important in the story children so when mirror this prospero reached the island he was a young man okay so he had seen many faces many people he know all but this little girl was not even 3 years old so after 12 years uh, this 12 years continuously she was in the island seeing only the face of her father so she don't remember any other human faces that is what given there okay children then they lived in a cave made of rock and which is divided into several apartments okay so so that cave that they lived in a cave in that island this father and daughter lived in a cave and that cave was divided into uh, several apartments different rooms are there okay that keep in mind then next mom in that one uh, room they had and he called prospero called that room as his study room there only he will keep all his magic books no but no one was allowed to enter into that okay his famous uh, that favorite place and he will be always spending his time in the study room okay so when he reached that island okay so with the help of magic this man prospero released many good spirits okay i will tell you the story about that children so that they reached one island is it children in that island there was a witch named psychorax okay she was a cruel lady she is a witch by which itself you can understand what kind of a lady she is so she imprisoned many spirits in a large trunk of the tree trunk means you know okay so in the trunk of the tree this psychorax this lady which lady she a uh, imprisoned many spirits okay when this man prospero entered into that island what happened uh, he released many good spirits usually if someone released a good spirit the good spirit, the spirit will be under the control of the person who released them is it children so what happened all the spirits released by this prospero become the slave of uh, prospero and they were ready to do whatever this man is ordering prospero doing and the many good spirits were there chief of that among that one had the chief of all spirit only this ariel ariel is a good spirit and it is the chief of all spirit okay so second paragraph you might understand i think so they lived in a cave and the cave had different apartments were there in that a special room was there it was specially spent for that uh, magics okay study room and also when he reached prospero reached that iron he released many spirits from the trunk of the tree and that spirits were ready to work for prospero and ariel was chief chief means head of all these good spirit then next ariel took rather too much pleasure in tormenting the ugly monster called caliban okay so too much pleasure 
when he was tormenting. Tormenting means torturing. Okay. So, this Ariel will torture this Caliban. So, when the story begins, we can understand that Psychorax, this witch lady died. Okay. So, Caliban was the other ugly monster living in that island. And that ugly monster was now acting as a slave and he will be doing all the laborious work there. So this Ariel was very much interested in torturing that Caliban. Okay. Why? What is the uh, reason why this Ariel is torturing that uh, Caliban? Because the psychorized lady and Caliban only imprisoned all the spirits in the trees. For that, this area is taking revenge on him. So he was very much interested whenever he is tormenting this Caliban. Okay, children. Then Caliban was employed like a slave. For what are the works he will do? It is mentioned there to fetch wood and to do more laborious work. What are the difficult tasks in that uh, place? Everything was done by this Caliban. Okay. So, um, uh, on these characters we come across, I think so. So, Prospero, Miranda, Antonio, Gonzalo and now we are seeing this Psychonauts, Caliban and Ariel. Okay. With the help of these spirits, Prospero can con that command or the wind and water. Everything he can command. Winds and the waves of the sea everything he was able to control by the or by the orders even he can create storm in the sea okay, with the help of that now he created a storm in the sea okay so after creating that when the story means we can understand that the father and the daughter is talking to them and they were telling that so See, I have created, the father is uh, telling to his daughter, I have created, yes, stop, see, uh, there is a ship and the ship was full of living beings there inside the ship and the ship is going to wreck. Okay, that was the conversation beginning with the father and the daughter. So, when this daughter hear this, he was, she was very much worried. So, he, she is telling, my dear, oh my dear father, if you were the reason for creating this storm, please for God's sake you just stop it. Because some, if anything happened to that people, okay, so um, anything may happen. So, please stop that. Like that he said. So, but the man was not ready to do that. He said only one word. Whatever I am doing here, everything is only for the good for you. Only for the goodness of you. Okay. I won't do anything wrong here. But if I am doing something here, everything for your goodness only I will be doing. Okay. So the girl did not understand anything what's happening. So the man started to Tell her stories, what happened, okay, before that. So, before uh, 20 years, what happened, you may not remember, but I know everything. And in that ship, who were all there? The Alonso and Ferdinand and Antonio, that all poor people who were done wrong things to us only, is traveling in that ship. So, only I created that shipwreck, okay. So, I'm doing that only for because we want to escape from this island. For these all years we were in this island and uh, because of that we were, we were suffering a lot because of the ill thought of the people so only I created that. That was the conversation happening between this both uh, father and the daughter they were talking. Okay. And so before 12 years what are the things happened she, uh, the man was sending to the uh, daughter okay so but even though uh, she understood something but she is telling please father okay if you created the storm in the sense please stop it okay that was the um, she was talking to his father okay so you must keep in mind how the uh, relationship between the father and the daughter is how she is calling oh my dear father okay so 
usually uh, we will not call that oh my dear the usage of words uh, after completing the summary i will be explaining you the different ways okay how uh, they had used all those words okay children okay next thing so she was begging with his father to stop that but with the help of a magic wand she he made the daughter to save and anyway he called the ariel ariel is a good spirit and he is an invisible creature nobody can see that spirit we can't see is it children so Uh, invisible that man that area is invisible the man talked prospero started to talk with ariel so ariel is a good spirit and he is telling ariel that uh, prospero commanded ariel you should uh, torture the people who were in the sh ship you got to torture but nothing should uh, that uh, nobody should die okay that was the thing so whatever thing you want to torture them everything you do but nobody should die i need all the people who were in the ship i need them all in the island so ariel to charge of that and he the ariel went to torture the people in the ship and here with the help of the magic wand she uh, that uh, prospero made her daughter to sleep okay whenever he want to do some magic he will made his daughter to sleep Okay, because whatever happening here, all the magic things she don't know. Okay, so here the conversation we can see an interesting conversation between the father and the daughter. Even sometimes uh, she is calling the father as sir. Okay, why the father? Uh, she is calling the father as sir because. father sir everything this man only so he only teach him how to write read everything he only taught okay so because of that the girl is calling sometimes sir even okay we can see while reading the chapter we will understand that so now uh, all these characters now enter into our story i think so is it all right so just we will have a quick recall and we will be seeing the remaining part of the story in our next class so i introduced all the characters now so where were they all these characters just have a quick recall this prospero this old man and this miranda this young lady they were in an island okay they were living in a cave that is the story then next angelio gonzalo alan so ferdinand these people were in the ship okay that ship only this prospero ordered to ah uh, yes right guys that they were uh, tortured by the uh, alien okay then the psychorax and the caliban so when the story begins it will begin understand that the psychorax died okay so this caliban was working as a slave and uh, he was an ugly monster he is doing all the laborious work in the island okay so who were all in the island prospero miranda caliban and here he is invisible okay he is a, uh, it is the chief of all spirit and it is invisible so miranda the only human face uh, that lady that young girl had seen only her father's face okay children so now the ariel was the work of uh, that uh, tormenting the uh, people who were in the ship and the conversation was going on between father and the daughter and uh, the uh, they were uh, ariel was in the work of tormenting this people okay so with this we will be stopping for today's class and in the next class we will see the remaining part of the story thank you children